And that's what it's pulling. Team project. All right. Somebody got a promotion, I guess. Wow, I must be making some serious money over there. Dang. I just got discovered why it is I don't see hardly anybody at my feeder today. Because my neighbor's got it covered. No problem. Yeah, I was trying to film with the GoPro today. I got a little bit of birds, I think. It's hard to tell because you can't really edit with that computer and the new GoPro stuff. My old GoPro is good for my Windows 7 computer and all that. It's still kind of hard to edit with it. Even Windows 10 has a little hard time with it. Got it. Time to get a brand new computer, huh? What do you think? I haven't had a brand new computer since 2012. I built that one in 2012 and I've been running it every single day, all day long, ever since. In my opinion, that's a very, very cool because the electronics never used to last so long. See the woodpeckers following me. I think so. Dang it. <laughs> that was a nice one. And fold up landing gear.
Oh, that was a legit capture. See the plants are far away, but no problem. I got zoom. Brings you right up next to them. Get to see the rivets and everything. So any UFO gets around me, man, they're totally captured. <laughs> Did you hear that? That's annoying. Little fly. Oh, I forgot to put on my fly stuff. I'm going on a long hike. Well, so far it's been good. Nothing's happened. Maybe everybody's got their fly traps out today. Well, I kept my camera on hoping I'd hit screech, but no. Now, where's the little heart in front? Oh, I can't see. Oh, <laughs> that was a stretch. Trying to get that. Supposed to be a nose on the heart, no, a heart on the nose. Guess not. Oh, I cleaned my shoes since the hike. I have to wash them down. I used a paintbrush to brush them though. Very soft paintbrush. I was looking at my brushes I use to clean the car and they're full of grease. I'm like, nah, I don't think I use that. Wow. Okay, today's date is July 22nd, 2023, and it is nice right now. We're at, what, maybe 75 degrees? Cool, wonderful breeze coming in off the ocean. Oh, I tell you what, after a week of about 90 degrees every day, it's pretty good. There's, I thought I care too much. I got, I put, uh, you know, in these 1951 houses, you can get set, you can put central air in, it costs you about 10,000, 50,000, you know, depending on how rich you are. Or you can spend 300 bucks and just put in a window air conditioner. <laughs> That's, you know, not a real high BTU, not real big, it's kind of small enough so that uh, your 1951 uh, housing electronics, you know, the original electric can handle it. <laughs> the house cools it off just great, no problem. Don't cost quite. If it breaks down, no problem. Just buy another one, 300 bucks. I think they're on warranty for like 90 days anyway, so they take years to break down. Once they do, so what? And it costs squat compared to what, 10,000, you know, 15,000, 20,000. Oh, tell me $20,000, please. The air conditioner unit broke down at the central. I right, know, thank you. No, the core broke, and it'll be uh, 2000 bucks. The core broke, $2,000? You got a better idea. Just buy a window air conditioner, 300 bucks, and everything is replaced. Yeah. Okay, that's your air conditioning rant for the summer. It's a hot summer here out in California, but not here on the coast, too bad. 
but it is inland. I was noting at nighttime, inland is 100 degrees at night, and then 100 degrees all day long. I was looking at that going, they gotta be, somebody's gotta be lying here about the weather on over the internet. Really, 100 degrees at nighttime? Come on. For real? But anyway, the reason why I was saying all the uh, stuff about a central air is because I have central air on, <laughs> on my on my place. So <laughs> that's what it cost me. And then three years later, it broke down. And I had to fix it myself, anyways, and spend like a hundred hundred bucks or something. I replaced the motor in the in the condenser. You know, it's like, why am I replacing this thing's brand new? Why am I replacing the motor in the condenser? I'm looking at it and it looks used, you know. The capacitor looked used. <laughs> it's like, what did they do? They like fix somebody else's unit and then put their old shit in mine, brand new shit or something? I don't know. Can't prove nothing. Why do they do that with cars? That's why, that's why I got a dent. I got a... I had this huge dent since 2014 in my truck, and I never fix it, because I do not want to take it to the, you know, fix it, body shop and say, okay, you got to leave it here for a week and we'll be done. It's like, really? A whole week, huh? I don't think I want to leave it there overnight. I'm that car, that car's not going to be there for one second without me being there the whole time. How about that? Yeah, it's a Ford Ranger. Those things are very popular. Parts on them are in demand. That's a little mileage car. All the parts on it are all new. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and drive around with a danter. Maybe someday I'll fix it myself. Huh? How about that? Okay, I guess I'll call this video Airplane Day. So I'm getting a lot of good shots on airplanes. Okay, here's another one. Stunt plane. I'll stop playing colors. That's cool, I like that one. Sure is small though, high. Way up there. Oh, that guy was easier, he's not so high up. Wait, what's this? Another plane! I know, I'm making a big deal about planes. It's like, ooh, it's like cars on a freeway. Not really. Planes are much more creative than cars. Not so mass-produced. That's why I like them. Very artistic. And you can't screw up on a plane, otherwise... The penalty is pretty severe. <laughs> so they don't get run down too much. Oh, another one. Twin engine. See how creative they are? Just every, every one is very different.
There's a lot of them today. Dang, some days there aren't any, and then all of a sudden, wham. Okay, where's the, uh, no ducks, okay. I should remember to bring some bread down here for them. I always forget. And then get a feeding thing going. For the duckies. They need bread too. Oh, who's that? Uh, that looks like a spice finch. Australian spice finch right there. Possibly. Wait a minute, the way he's moving so Yeah, I can't tell for sure. Camera's too dark. But there's our tiny little bees. They are friendly little guys this year. <laughs> Back in the 80s, news was screaming about the African bees crossing the border and they're gonna kill everybody. Oh no! It's like, really? Oh no, I gotta watch out for bees. <laughs> 